Niggas be talking about. Niggas be talking about because my blunt ain't as fat as they would prefer it. You know what I'm saying? Niggas talking about because my blunt ain't as fat as they would prefer it. That, oh, you broke. You broke. Put some more in there. Bitch, don't worry about my intake. I've been smoking while you was trying to figure out what that crust was on the end of your dick. But that nigga boss type of target, man. He's stupid, though. All that running your mouth is going to force you to have to move different. Like, nigga, only time you could leave them gates is if you about to travel or go to a whole nother side of the city or the suburbs or something. Let's be real. And fuck them backwoods too. That's a whole damn tobacco leaf. Nigga, we smoking weed, not tobacco. Fuck wrong with you. My man, real G's moving silence, man. This internet just gave niggas too much excitement to say whatever. Shit crazy. Shit crazy, man. He won't go. I bet it, see, like, you know, it was a time, you know, where niggas would go to 63rd or go to 63rd and take pictures. Like, Old Black Ocho went to 63rd, took a picture. You know, Duck and Lil J took a picture on Lamron. You know, in '64. You know what I'm saying? Like, I bet you that shit can't happen right now. I bet Boss Top wouldn't do that. <clears throat> tell Boss Top shoot. Tell Boss Top take us take a selfie on 63rd right now. He ain't gonna do it. You know, like you gotta understand, O Block is the type. You know, they stick together, you know, like the residents there, even the non-bangers, you know, like motherfuckers, like motherfuckers stick together out there, you know, but they really don't want problems. A lot of, I heard people say Tuca was the first blood, first blood drawn of the young generation, I think it was. Like, of the young niggas shooting, I think Tuca was the first. That's probably why they disrespect him the most. And it all started over fist fight. L.A. used to get his ass whooped by FBG. You know what I'm saying? Um, Butter beat King Von ass. You know, STL, man. Von State, when it came to hands, we all know Queen Von stayed getting his ass beat. Like, take guns out the picture for a minute. If there wasn't no guns, Von would have, like, all types of scars and bruises and missing teeth all that shit like that's just real you know what I'm saying like all this gun shit see like niggas talking about killing would you let me ask you something would you rather make your enemy hurt so bad that he wish he was dead or just immediately put him at peace and immediately kill him see cause motherfuckers don't wanna die that's true life is precious you can't get that back and it's the ultimate way to fuck over an enemy. But you know what's even worse than death? Is being so hurt that you wish you was dead. You know what I'm saying? Like, all that, I'm, if I can't find you, I'm going to find your homies. Man, that's just not effective, man. Because niggas will switch on their homies any day. 
So a nigga can take that loss. Like, find the motherfucker that did it. You know, and like, man, see, that's the purpose of the art of the fist fight. Niggas don't like that. Niggas cannot wake up and look in the mirror and look at a busted lip, a, a, a black eye, broken up. Niggas can, will not. They won't take it. They won't tolerate it. They won't stand for it. They, that's, that's like, they're not ready for that. Because it was a, back, it was a time where niggas would get, get down with the hands and shake hands after, you know, sometimes fights go too far. You know what I'm saying? But then this is a whole nother level, though, when you're disrespecting dead people. I think the ultimate line not only was T-Roy and OD or whatever, but Keita. Because there's no stories on Keita. Like, you know, it's always a story on... Well, every Chirac character has at least one story of what they was about, what they did. I seen Keita, I seen a viral video of Keita on YouTube. She was at a party, cooling. Dancing, capital C cooling, dancing with a cup in her hand. She seemed like a chill ass girl, like chill ass female that just had a disagreement with another female. Talking about the one that was stabbed and shot and shit. Like man, that that they I heard they ran her over too or some shit. That shit lame as hell, man. Like, but you know, hey, the nigga said it. Nigga disrespected her. Shit. It was what it was. But I don't feel like he should have went that far and mentioned her. She seemed like a cool motherfucker. But regardless, man, niggas need to chill, man. And if you're going to do something, don't go on an interview talking. Man, niggas talk too damn much, man. I'm trying to tell you. Man. And yeah, y'all, hey. And before y'all say something stupid, see, I'm just now digging up old videos I did and just now seeing comments niggas made. A lot of y'all motherfuckers that make comments talking some dumb shit or some other shit, I don't even be seeing. Y'all be wasting y'all time a lot of the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, like on the real. Y'all be saying the dumb shit. You know that shit get removed. I'm not going to argue with you. Shit going to get removed anyway, bitch. Man, y'all stay up, man. This shit boring, man. Y'all ain't saying nothing back, so fuck y'all, man. <laughs> fuck with me, though.